Okay, so decon director confirms order of decon with entry control officer. Decon director informs decon operative two of order unless distressed. He's first. Decon operative two confirmed fitness and welfare of all wearers. Decon operative one. Check GTS for damage. Escort wearer to red entry mat. Direct wearer to stand on elevated platform. If additive required, apply to GTS and scrub with a soft brush. on flush position. Instruct wearer to slowly turn and inspect GTS for remaining contamination. Note the location and attempt to clean if area is likely to compromise the undress process. Discard brush in plastic bag after final wearer has been decontaminated. Remove ADSU. Support staff provide ADSU. Operative one, grasp each boot in turn, allow wearer to step out of boot and onto platform. Place boots for one side for inspection or decon Support staff, provide decon operative two with wearer's shoes nitrile gloves, a PVC bag. Wearer, turn to face green exit mat. Decon operative one, walk to green exit mat. Instruct wearer to step down from platform into PVC bag. Decon one, instruct wearer to withdraw arms from sleeves. Wearer to withdraw arms from sleeves of GTS and cross at chest height. Unzip GTS fully. Instruct wearer to stoop down, allow the GTS to be removed over the wearer's helmet. Roll GTS to waist level, inside out to prevent cross contamination. Operative 2, provide wearer 
with nitrile gloves. Wear it, done nitrile gloves over white cotton gloves. Person connection hose and hook in waist belt of VA set. Decon operative one. Grasp each booty of GTS in turn, allow wearer to withdraw foot, step clear of bag, step clear of the bag and into the shoes. Zone, close down VA set and report to entry control. Decon operative one, close PVC bag and cable tie. Hold on. Job done. 